Well, for me, Vico VR is totally immersive. I mean, when I got in there, I thought it was going to be a little laggy. Um, there wasn't going to be, you know, much much uh, effective interaction with what the three D models. But when I got in there, I saw a punching bag, and I'm like, just started punching it, and and you know, it, it reacted, responded so well to my movements that I kind of got into it, <laughs> really into it. So I started kicking it, and uh, it was pretty accurate, and the frame rate was really really good as well. So everything was pretty fluid. I was some surprised. So I just got done trying Vico VR for the first time, and I've used quite a few uh, motion sensor devices, but none that I've seen to this point have been as responsive as this. Um, every little motion, uh, from even the angle of my elbow, the angle of my wrist, it seemed to, uh, with it, without any lag whatsoever, seemed to react perfectly to what I was doing. So I gotta say, I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far. So uh, the VR experience uh, behind me, Vico VR, was amazing. Uh, it had full body tracking, which means it was tracking my knees, my legs, uh, my arms, my hands. I could see actually my hands in front of me. Uh, they put me in this virtual environment where there was this, uh, this boxing bag in front of me and I was just like going to town on it. It was awesome. This product uh, is the first product I've seen that actually feels like you're actually in the virtual environment without any hand controls. It was a really cool experience. It reminds me a lot of like a an updated version of the eye toy where you're playing with the boxing match. It was pretty cool. I, I'm looking forward to seeing it when it comes out, uh, when it's fully developed. The Vico VR thing was really cool. It was nice to um, be able to look down and see your legs and walk around without being inside of like a big uh, dome with sensors. It was pretty fast. I'd like to be able to, I'd, I'd like to see where this is going to go in the future. It was really awesome. You really can move around and you feel like you're part of that environment as opposed to just sitting in a chair, yeah. which is the one plus so far. Yeah, it was really interesting to have an interaction instead of just standing there and looking around. It was really cool. Yeah, we like it the most so far. Yeah, Vico VR. <laughs> just flapping my wings and kind of moving my body to orient myself. It was good. I've been done some other flying demos before, and that was... Uh, Definitely one of the most fun ones. Really like responded to my body and everything, so that was cool. I enjoyed it. Well, like this one didn't have any controls. Um, it just registered your body, so that was really unique. Um, kind of like the Wii, you know, but just like, like I said, just it's responding to you. So that feels very virtual, feels very immersive. You know, you're just kind of moving along, and it's registering everything. So yeah, it was really cool. It's a lot of fun. You can bob and weave, and it sees your hands. You can punch the part of the punching bag that you are actually trying to get to. It's very interesting, much different way to interact than just the controller, which I'm used to. Sort of like uh, it's sort of like Wii boxing, but it's actually seeing you. It's really neat. It was very nice to try a device that maps your whole body and responds to your whole body movement, uh, unlike most of the others where it's just hand. Uh, that is mapped. So, uh, no, a lot of fun and uh, very interesting to see something that does whole body movement. So, very impressed.